All right, so you meet Jeezy through Coach K, and you guys start working. Now, uh, what is the first show that you guys actually do together? The first show we actually do together was The Bounce in Atlanta, birthday bash weekend. Jeezy had his first show at The Bounce, and that's when we was all there. And that's when I first met Kinky B. Okay, well, how was it that night? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was what was Jeezy, you know, what what everything looked like? I mean, it was crazy. Everything looked like a movie. You got to understand, Jeezy's pulling up, him and his people pulling up in brand new 745 BMWs. They they jumping out with um, Jacob's own and rose rose gold jewelry. That's when Jeezy had the rose gold. He had a rose gold CTE chain with the rose gold. Um, I want to say it was a I want to say it was a Jacob or it might have even been I don't know what kind of watch it was, but it was. But like the scene was there. Kinky B Kinky B pulled up in his bins, like. And like it was a movie, and you can talk about some niggas that's not even signed yet. They pulling up on their own money. You feel me? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, and now at some point, I know early on when you guys are performing, you know that you know there's a situation where Ti is at a club, or you guys are going to be opening up for Ti, and Ti kind of just jumps on stage ahead of you guys. No, that was that was that was the bounce. That was the bounce. That was the club. That was our first show. And when they called us to the stage, him and his crew jumped on stage. But, at, you know, we didn't feel like it was no disrespect because that's what you should do if this is your territory, this is your home. I'm about to jump on stage and take over, do my show, and let it keep moving. And you got to understand, T.I. was a big artist. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he was a small-time artist. He, has, he, he, was, he had clout and running shit, so... Especially in his hood, you know, he was the biggest thing that probably came out of his hood when we was around. Okay, and then a, a, a couple of days later, you guys are out of college? Yeah, a couple of days later, we was at the AU, and they had a big concert on the football field. But they, was, they, went, they, would let, they let everybody van in except for ours. You know, I could understand because we weren't even, we weren't even signed yet to a label. It was a come and shot with me van. It was Jeezy's van. And we had the come and shot with me album wrapped around it. And it had like 22s or 24s on the van. So we used to be riding around the city just putting on and passing out and putting up posters and just just being out. So when they seen us coming, they blocked our van, told us we couldn't come. So me and my niggas parked the van up the street and we took some CDs and flyers and just started walking. And that's when we heard T.I. performing and he, and he had said some shit. Like I heard it's a new trap guy named named Cheesy or Young Jeezy. And you tell him I said, you tell him I said whatever he said, and he dropped this song that was popping at the time. I can't really remember. Even though he's dissing you, he's talking about you. And T.I. is probably at that point the biggest thing in the South. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then you know when you hear about, you know how it happens when you're the biggest thing in the South. And everybody's coming to you talking about who about to be the next biggest thing in the South. And, you know, I felt like a motherfucker felt the way. So after that night, I mean, to me, I really didn't think nothing of it because I knew once I go back and relay the message, it was going to be on because I already had seen what type of time these niggas on. You feel me? So I already knew when we went back and relayed the message, it was going to be up. So I went back, relayed the message. And we end up going to T.I.'s party later that night in Buckhead. And I think it was Meech, j Bo, I want to say Blue Da Vinci and some other guys, and Jeezy, and me and my two homeboys, and Coach. I think Coach was there. And it was supposed to be T.I.'s party, a grand hustle party, but Meech and them had bought the whole upstairs out, the VIP. And the nigga, T.I. never showed up to the party. So later on that night or that week, we end up being at Magic City and Jeezy and T.I. end up running into each other. And they had a couple of words. They were just having a conversation back and forth and then Meech squashed the shit. 
Meech got in between them and told them, you know, y'all gotta get y'all gotta get money together. Y'all can't be beefing. That ain't the way you're gonna do it. So, and that's before we were signed. You feel me? So that's why it was really never no beef between Jeezy and T.I. in the media or nothing, because that shit was way before then. Uh, you guys became good friends after that, right? Everybody was cool. Yeah, yeah, everybody was cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And now, at what point did you kind of figure out, like, Jeezy is going to be a big thing? Like, like it's going down. Um, when Coach K called me, you know what I'm saying? I knew, I knew he had to be, he, you know, he ain't about to call and brag on nobody. He don't think got it. You feel me? And when I finally came down and met Jeezy, my first time even being around him, I, I just knew I was like, hey, we out of here, you know? And that's before the music, like that's before, I want to say, after when Streets is watching, when we when he was working on Streets is watching, I knew he had it. I knew he had it. Like even just being around him and his, and his, you know, you know, some people just got that star power, you know what I'm saying? Some people know how to charm the room. Some people know how to control the room. And they just got it. And he just had it. And that's before the rap. Like, anybody that knew him before he was rapping, you would think that he was already rapping. You feel what I'm saying? Because he's already he got the jewelry. He got the cars. He's he's going in rooms with people that got millions and, and blending in. You know what I'm saying? He's looking like one of them. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.